Hey guys, this is Saki from BD Themes. We have come with another widget tutorial just for you. Presenting the tag cloud. Tag cloud is for showing tags. That's all it is. A regular blogging site often involves a large volume of tags. So we made the tag cloud widget to display them with style. Let's see how it works. First, drag our tag cloud widget and drop it inside your page. As you can see, this is the first appearance of the tag cloud widget. On the layout section, you can change the style from inline to grid. Of course, for grids, you will have additional options like columns. You can change the number of columns on the display up to 6. There's a column gap scroll bar right below the columns. Also, you can change the item heights for all the tags. The alignment options below will change the alignment of the text inside the tags box. Notice that there's a number on the tags. It is the counter number for how many times a tag is used. So you can keep it on or turn it off by the show count switcher. Also you can show or hide tag description as a tooltip by the switcher. The option tooltip position lets you reposition the tooltip where to show it on the display. Let's keep the tilt tip off for now and change the columns to number 3. On the query section, you can change the item limit by numbers. From taxonomy, you can select the sources from where the tags should be displayed. There's also order by an order number to choose. However, there's another option called exclude. Go to your WordPress dashboard. Go to tags under the posts tab. Click on any tag. You can see a tag ID on the URL section. Take the ID and place it in the exclude box. That's it, your tag will be displayed by the ID. That's it, the tag put it in the exclude box will be removed from displaying. Moving on to the style tab, you can see a bunch of options on the first section. The single background switcher will activate a single color for all the tags. You can change the background type or color from the options right below. Turning off the single background color will activate the multicolor layout of the tags. You can also insert color codes for multiple background interfaces. There's also border option right below. You have border type, border width, border color. Border radius, paddings and box shadow. The next section lets you customize the names of the tags. However, the options are limited to color and typography. Lastly, you can customize the count number by colors, borders, typography, spacings, and paddings. That's it, your text cloud is now ready to display. Hope you have enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel and stay updated. 
Thanks for watching.